Hi everyone, how are you doing? I'm um, coming back to you with a video of um, some uh, various purchases from uh, my usual um, places I like to visit. Uh, Winners, Walmart, HomeSense, Marshalls, etc, etc. So I will get started with um, uh, some more of the puppy stuff. Uh, we'll get in our puppy about mid-July or so. So uh, I didn't bring it up, but I'll show you in the thumbnail. Um, Sophie, when we brought her home, she hated her steel cage. She just hated it with a passion. And after a couple of months, we just gave up. And um, uh, but she was fine without it. She was she never destroyed things or anything like that. Um, she was always a very good dog that way. But she just did not like that. So um, I bought this um, from HomeSense. I bought this. Um, fold up kind of cage I guess you could say um, it's it's kind of cloth and it's got some zippers in the front and the sides so I'll show it in the thumbnail but it's it's really good for uh, when we're traveling we do a lot of traveling our family's out of town and that um, so this will be nice and portable um, uh, for traveling so well hopefully she'll like it um, I did buy a couple of um, little beds for the puppy. Uh, these were on clearance at HomeSense also. Um, so they weren't too much. Now I bought two beds because most likely until we train this puppy uh, at any given time probably at least one of them is going to be in the wash. Oh, there's Sophie there. Yeah, you know what's coming. Um, so I just got this little, uh, little bed and that'll fit right into that little um, this little cage that we have and uh, this was also on clearance um, <laughs> memory foam um, so yeah just uh, just a couple little beds for around the house and that and then um, uh, me and Jules just went out and bought some uh, little toys um, Sophie wasn't really big into toys she liked her little stuffed her stuffed animals and kind of playing uh, tug of war with her little stuffed animals but um, uh, just for chewing purposes um, I did get this little um, sheep uh, actually I think I got it more for myself because I thought it was so darn cute but anyway <laughs> little squeaky toy um, this is a Kong um, so you put the treats in these little holes at the ends here and hopefully that will keep her amused and uh, just a little collar. It's black with these little um, little yellow hearts around it. I did buy another one. It was a uh, oh I don't know where it is. It's a like a blue paisley one. And um, and then just a little chew rope for her. So hopefully that'll keep her amused. A um, couple of um, bags of treats. Um, or when she's a little bit older and we're just training her um, to do various things like I don't know wash the dishes and vacuum and you know train her to do stuff like that <laughs> I wish um, uh, so just a couple of bags of uh, treats for training and um, this stuff I've uh, used before is by Ed Bagley he's the he's that actor um, he's uh, produced this uh, pet stain and odor remover and I've gone through a couple bottles right now and it's um it's natural it uses natural enzymes and um, we use it to clean up after the birds because they just fly around the house and once in a while they kind of poop here and there um, and uh, for any other stains or anything like that so um, I really do like this um, I've used uh, like I said I've gone through a couple bottles and then I found this at uh, HomeSense Green Shield Organic Pet Stain and Odor Remover. It's in Orange Blossom. It doesn't have any harsh chemicals, etc., etc. Um, so I got this big liter bottle for uh, ten dollars. So and it does actually smell quite nice. So hopefully, like Sophie wasn't too bad to train. I'm hoping this new puppy will be okay too. But um, we'll see. And then at Walmart. Uh, I bought this wax warmer. Um, has the 25 watt bulb, 
and um, it looks like a preserving jar and unfortunately I'm a, far away from a plug but um, when it's lit up it's absolutely beautiful um, some of these don't throw as well as like a tea light warmer or a hot plate warmer um, but this one oh, I just plugged it in and it just looks absolutely beautiful so I'm going to put this um, in the kitchen and has a fairly deep um, uh, little reservoir there um, so yeah I thought it was quite pretty and at Walmart there was just um, uh, this drink cup and it's supposed to be um, insulated it says um, but it's just for the 150th Canada, uh, Canadian birthday there's just uh, different sayings on like beaver tails which is a pastry here in Canada maple syrup um, double double hockey uh, loony which is our um, Canadian dollar donuts took Canuck etc etc so and then um, I got this uh, at home sense with skinny syrups it was a coconut flavoring um, I put in my um, water or uh, you know iced tea or whatever and it um, actually really tastes good and oh I just got some more um, at home sense there's these um, puppy poop bags and these are biodegradable uh, just come in a, a variety of colors um, has a little dog playing around on them and I do like to get the biodegradable ones so um, I got a package of those and um, I got a bathing suit now I hate I hate try on bathing suits now when I was in my younger days no problem throw a bathing suit on look great out the door you go but it's get older um, things aren't in the usual place and uh, anyway gravity's taking over etc so it's not as much fun trying on bathing suits now but I did find one that I really like and it fit wonderfully um, just kind of a blue and white uh, pattern it's got some uh, ruching on the side and the tummy there so it kind of sucks things in a little bit um, but yeah I was uh, really really happy with the fit and uh, yeah I have to try on about 20 bathing suits before I find one that um, I like so and um, I love uh, Charlie Brown like Snoopy and Woodstock when I was growing up and um, so I got the Snoopy with his little um, Canadian house there and uh, this was all this was at Marshall's I think that was at Marshall's too that Snoopy shirt and um, this is just a nice lightweight kind of flowy um, shirt and it has these kind of gold specks and, and stars on it and um, I thought it was quite pretty and then there's a pair of capri pants um, now these are kind of an interesting color some light it looks kind of beige and other light it looks kind of grayish so it's one of those colors everything will kind of go with it and this is um, by point zero uh, these are just twenty dollars I really like the um, the pockets in the back and the pockets in the front had a little button so um, which is nice because I don't like sticking things in my pockets when the pockets are shallow because you're paranoid that things will fall out but these have little buttons it has a little drawstring waist and has a little tie at the bottom there and uh, I do like a little bling once in a while so I just um, I think these were at Winners um, they're not really gold they're not silver they're almost kind of like a platinum platinum color um, but yeah I thought they were kind of fun and um, Dollarama had these um, shopping bags and I always like to fold these up and put them in my purse so this one's a Save Our Planet and this one I thought was really cute this is a uh, please do not disturb I'm shopping uh, 
And this was in HomeSense. Um, it's like a little tea light holder. Just put the tea light in there and it lights up and shows throughout here. So I thought that would look uh, nice out on the outdoor patio there. And I'm just jumping all over the place here. Oh, there's the other collar. It's kind of a blue with a little pink, purplish kind of paisley design. And this is Dollarama. This is um, Toffee. Kerr's Toffee. I think it's a Canadian company. Uh, but they have vanilla cream flavor, rum and butter flavor, mocha, and peppermint cream, and licorice flavor uh, toffee. So those sounded really good. And um, oh, this was at Winners. It was this sundress. And it ha actually has this kind of stretchy material on top. And you just tie it up at the back at the neck. And this area is open to the back. And, um, and then the skirt, it comes a few inches above the knee there. Um, but I just really, really like the colors and how they work together. I thought it was just such a pretty design and pretty colors there so I do like sundresses in the summer when it's a really hot day and this was at Winters also this is by Mac Studio um, took me about 10 minutes just to get this packaging off uh, is blush uh, bronzer and highlighter all in one um, it was five bucks I don't know it it's not bad. I'd have to really try it on. The swatches are a bit powdery um, and patchy. I'll have to... It might be different when I get it on the skin. Actually, the highlighter's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I, d I have to try it out. Um, but uh, hopefully, once I get it on the skin, it'll be worth the $5. And then I was watching Drea CN. Uh, she's a Canadian YouTuber, D R E A C N, and um, she lives in Ontario here. And she has a really good uh, beauty YouTube channel. And she was telling um, telling us about the Clara Cosmetics, which she found in Winners, or you can find them in TJ Maxx in the states. Same company, different co uh, country. Um, this is a, a Australian company. And she was showing me this palette. Um, there's about three in winners, three different colors. And I guess it's limited edition. This one is Desert Rose. And got my fingerprints on here. Um, but it, it's actually a very, very uh, beautiful palette. Um, you get quite a bit in each, each color. And um, they're very pigmented as you can see um, and the colors are just beautiful I just kind of drawn to those uh, warm colors um, so yeah um, she she really was quite impressed and um, I thought and I luckily I found it and um, yeah it was uh, I think fifteen dollars for this palette and um, I got a little baby um, brush um, sometimes I don't feel like dragging out the vacuum or the bigger mop and that just for a small little spill and uh, yeah I love the colors I love that that green color and um, I got a couple of these Alba Botanica uh, very emollient cream shaves this is mango vanilla and I've shown them before on my empties um, I usually save these for winter time because they're very moisturizing um, so this is a soothing and conditioning for normal to dry. And then I got Aloe Mint Cooling and Conditioning for Normal Combination Skin. Um, so yeah, you only need a very, very thin layer and um, they moisturize. They don't strip your skin. Um, so yeah, I really do like these for the shaving in the winter time. And uh, I think this was at Winners also. I think most of the stuff's at Winners. Uh, this is Snail Essential Deep Cleansing Foam, and it actually has snail extract in it. I guess that's a big thing in, in Korea. So I thought I'd give this a try. I'm not sure how they extract it from the snails. I don't think I want to know, but anyway. 
and I bought another Heda Labo. Um, this is hyaluronic acid, um, and I did. I do have a bottle that I'm going through right now, but I wanted to grab another one um, because I really do like it. Um, it's very liquidy. It absorbs um, right away. It almost has a tightening effect on your skin. Um, it just uh, replaces the hyaluronic acid and kind of plumps up the skin a bit um, before uh, moisturizing. So I did get another bottle. Usually it's like $25 online and at winter's it's uh, $9. And I got this uh, vitamin C be dot beauty. Um, it's C buckthorn rose facial toner mist, hydrating, removes impurities and clarifies complexion. So you can put this on before makeup, after makeup, during the day, just to freshen up. I do have a lot of these um, kind of mist, and I use them all the time because they're just so refreshing. And this actually has a very very lovely uh, rose scent to it. And that was eight dollars for eight fluid ounces. And at Shoppers Drug Mart, I found this Skin F Skin Fix Healing Foot and Leg Balm. It was twenty dollars, and it was on the clearance rack at a dollar ninety-seven. Um, it's not a big bottle, but a little goes a long way. Um, my f heels are so dry and cracked, so I'm going to give this a try. And. Um, I found this at Sally's Beauty. This is a mint lip scrub. And um, I had a $5 off coupon. Um, so I think this was less than $4. But it smells minty. Um, I haven't used it yet. Um, but uh, those lip scrubs are big now. And um, this one does feel quite moisturizing. And then a few, just a couple more things at. Um, Marshalls. This is a lip color corrector. Sometimes when I put on lipstick, especially uh, liquid matte lipstick, um, if you make a mistake it's really hard to get it off, especially if it's the um, the matte lipstick. So this is supposed to help correct it um, without uh, smudging it everywhere. And I found these press-on nails by L'Oreal for just four dollars at Marshalls, which is a pretty good deal. So um, they had the kind of the uh, aqua green with and some of them have the pink flowers on it so I thought those were cute and then there's Essie these are those nail coverings you just um, stick them on then you kind of file away the excess um, but these are kind of flesh toned with um, a little white scrolling kind of pattern to them no oh, a little doggy dish for Millie and I think that's it. Holy moly. I gotta slow down here with the with the shopping. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my haul. I didn't get this all in one trip. This is various trips um, or the past week or so. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, it's raining again. Um, so anyway, everyone enjoy uh, the week and um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see you soon. Give your loved ones a hug and kiss. Take care. Bye-bye.